let's take a look at how to customize a texture in Photoshop. Open your texture files and on the first image, create a new layer found in the bottom corner or in the layer menu. Using the paint tool and the color picker, create your custom color and drop it into this layer. Next, we're going to modify the layer mode to color. There are many options to experiment with in modes, each with unique properties. We've now created a custom texture for this product. From here, you'll want to save your file with File, Export, Save for Web. Be sure to label your textures clearly to make it easier to apply them in Studio later. Apply these same steps to your other texture layers for consistency within your product. Now that you've created your custom color, let's take a look at adding a custom design to your shirt. I've chosen this cute, royalty-free crown image for this product. When selecting a design, be sure to remember two important rules. One, it should either be completely handmade or licensed or royalty-free imagery that is available for commercial use. And two, it shouldn't be of copyrighted content. Be sure to review the IMView Terms of Service for more information on what is and isn't allowed in the IMView catalog. To bring your design into your project, you can simply drag and drop it onto your project. Next, let's scale the image to fit our shirt. The Transform tool is Control plus T, or you can go to Edit, Free Transform, and then drag the corner in, holding the Shift button if needed to ensure it scales proportionately. When you're ready, hit the checkmark icon to apply the transformation. Next, let's get rid of this white background on the image. To do this, go to Select, Color Range, and use the color picker to select the white color on the layer. Once the white is selected, simply hit the delete key and you'll see you're now left with the black design only. I'm going to use the scale tool again to bring it in a bit more. I'm not going to use the shift key for a moment as I want to squish this a bit to offset some stretch that happens on the model. Then I'm going to move it right about here and hit the check mark to apply this change. Now I want to add some text to the image. With the text tool, you can type out whatever you'd like. Then select it all and use the text tools to modify it until you have it exactly as you please. I'm going to modify the font, make it larger, and center it underneath the crown. Now let's try some more design elements. Let's transform this crown into a pretty gradient. To do this, there's a very convenient option in the Layer Styles menu called Gradient Overlay. You can use the color picker to create your own custom gradient and apply it. This will affect any pixels that are present on that layer. To continue expanding on this look, let's add another layer and create some simple stripes. I'm going to use the same purple as the text for consistency. I'm also going to change the mode of this layer to multiply so that we can see some of the natural folds come through from underneath. As you can see, I've gone ahead and made similar changes to our other textures. When we apply these to the product, we can see how these all come together. Let's take a quick look at seams. Here you can see where the front and back pieces meet. Sometimes this requires some guessing and checking and adjustments to your designs to make them line up perfectly. This is an important detail to pay attention to and using UV wire maps when provided can make this much easier when working on your designs. This is our final product after adding some color and imagery to our product and we're now ready to submit it to the catalog.